How's it going guys? It's Than from Tidal Gardens. Soanthids and Recordia are very popular corals in the reef keeping hobby. They are also some of the more finicky eaters, which is problematic for someone like me that tries to feed everything. When you try to get reluctant feeders to eat, it's tempting to overfeed, which can lead to excess nutrient problems. Things like algae blooms and buildup of dissolved organics can put a damper on your enjoyment of the hobby, believe me. So, how do you go about balancing the benefits of feeding while avoiding the pitfalls of overfeeding when we're talking about corals that are notoriously difficult to feed? One possible solution is to go with dry pellet foods like the kind Fauna Marin produces. Sinking pellets avoid the cloudiness you get from thawing frozen food, which largely goes uneaten. Let's see if we can get these corals eating. The Zoanthid and Recordia blend has a very fine consistency. It's a lot more like dust than an actual pellet. It takes only a small pinch to feed an entire tank, so a single 100 ml container will last a good long time. So far, I'm not seeing a whole lot of actual feeding taking place. I see the corals responding to the food, but it's not clear to me that they're actually ingesting it. Normally, I turn off the pumps so that the food stays on the corals longer, but in these time lapses, they were left on. Now, I don't know how important a role that plays because the zoanthids and recordia had the opportunity to grab the food just fine, yet they appear to be sloughing it off rather than trying to ingest it. Overall, I would say that the recordia seemed to be more interested in the food than the zoanthids who did not appear to have any interest whatsoever. This isn't a huge surprise to me because in my other zoanthid feeding video, it didn't appear that the zoanthids ate anything. It took a while for me to figure it out, but I made a mistake. Did anybody happen to catch it? I forgot that sometimes Fauna Marin foods are actually a two-part formula that you have to combine. Now it turns out that the zoanthid and recordia food here needs to be mixed with a liquid solution called Ultramin D. It's an easy mistake to make because there are no instructions anywhere on these containers and what documentation is that's written, it's 100% in German. After mixing the Ultramin D to the pellet food, I tried it again with the zoanthids. The effect was subtle, but before where it did not look like the corals were eating the food at all, in this time lapse I can see the polyp fully closing around the pellets. So what do you guys think? Is this a product that you would try out in your tank? Now if you've tried this out before, what were your experiences? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks again for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel to get the latest updates and newest videos. Also, if you're looking to try this food out, take a look at our sister company, Advanced Reef Aquarium. We carry lots of coral food on our site. Gotta keep those corals well fed, guys. As always, happy reefing.